Hey everyone. As I think back over the last 40 years of my career, starting as a as a heavy equipment technician and then moving into owning my own businesses, repairing earth movement equipment and then a truck dealership and into uh, the power sports industry as a dealer, I often wonder what would I have told uh, the younger version of myself when I started off on this uh, this journey. It's been fantastic. But uh, but all seriousness, that's an important question because we all start somewhere. We all have a beginning to our our business career and uh, along the way we learn things. But what would have I enjoyed knowing right from the beginning? And the answer to that question really is understanding the numbers better. And what I mean by that is how important is understanding the balance sheet? You know, it's something we think that it's just the realm of accountants and no one else should worry about it. And that's basically what happens with most um, most businesses. You know, we start, we all start out with a passion for what it is that we do and uh, then eventually end up owning a dealership or we've taken over from our family business. The one thing you need to understand right from the beginning, and that is how important is cash? How important is protecting your money? The business will not survive and definitely will not flourish if you haven't got a good handle at all times on what your financial position is. And that's the key of the balance sheet. It gets so misunderstood. Everyone thinks, oh yeah, it's just where we record our assets and we record our liabilities. Yeah, that's only half of it. The accounting equation is quite complex and that's why accountants have to go to university and study this. You know? And I'm not detracting one minute from the accounting profession. You know, their ability to look at the technicalities and all the various laws and nuances with understanding uh, a balance sheet is critical. And we should never try to do that all ourselves. But every business owner, in my opinion, should have an understanding of really what does the balance sheet mean? What is the basic accounting equation? Just understand the fundamentals, leave the accountants to deal with all the technicalities. But the reality is, every day you walk into your business, the balance sheet is a snapshot in, in time. You can run a trial balance every hour if you want to, and it'll change slightly, because it is just a snapshot in time of the financial health of your business. Now, that balance sheet is only going to be valuable to you if the numbers in there are accurate, and that's where the younger version of myself, I would have loved to have given them that, um, that advice. What do I mean? Okay, for one, what is the one part of our business that we, we never audit? We do a very poor job of it, and that's in our parts inventory. You know, when you look around the motorcycles and the jet skis behind me, you know, every day we come in, we can see them. We know that we've got those bikes here. We've got those jet skis here. Whatever your business is, the new unit's are easy. And if we forget, uh, invariably our, f our floor plan provider reminds us, but parts inventory, work in progress, uh, labour charge to repair orders, all, all this, the stuff that you can't walk in, you can't physically see it, you can't touch it, in, all in one hit. But you have to believe that those transactions are all dealt with and they're all accurate when you look at your inventory accounts on your balance sheet, when you look at your work in progress accounts. Because that's where you will consume your cash Part shrinkage happens. We try to deny it. Do you accrue for uh, a certain percentage of write-offs every month? Labor. We can't get every hour that we buy to sell, but are we watching to make sure that we haven't got time being charged against repair orders that we're never going to be paid for? So when I talk about the balance sheet, but when we look at that document or, or that screen printout, what is it that we're looking at? It's a snapshot in time, and if to believe those numbers, you have to, in your heart, in your mind, know that you've got a good handle on all of your inventory accounts, you've got a good handle on all the expenses, and you believe those numbers are real. And the key to it is, end of each month, you have to audit. You don't have to audit everything, but you have to have a discipline in place where you're checking and making sure that you're comfortable, that you haven't got parts inventory that is on your accounts hundred thousand dollars more than what you actually have that in the back that your labor on work in progress isn't fifty thousand dollars more than what you are actually ever going to charge out because if you had that situation your balance sheet's not accurate 
which means your profit and loss statements are not accurate, your management reports are not, everything is not accurate, and how do you make decisions without accurate information? So what would I tell the younger version of myself starting out? Learn to interpret the balance sheet and understand what you're looking at. And if it means a couple of hours study, if it means a few hours of the accountant to teach you that and help you, well, that's time well spent. Um, I hope this gives you something to think about. Cheers.